Saturday and thanks for tuning in to She Creates. I'm so excited to have you paint with me today. Today we'll be painting the singer. Let's make sure we have all of our supplies. Go on and grab your favorite beverage, a canvas in any size of your choice, a paper plate to store your paints, and your paintbrushes. Click on the link above in the description box to find out which colors we use. Let's create. We're going to add some red to our flat tip paintbrush and we're going to begin to paint our stage curtains. So we're going to do a nice curve and then when we get about three quarters of the way down we're going to do an angle where we come out. And so we want to make it look like our curtains are gathered. We're using two different shades of red we're using a shade called Cherry Cobbler and a shade called Scarlet and we're going to go in and out because what we want to do by going in and out of our color palette is introduce the idea of curtains that have pleats. And so we're using Scarlet, Cherry Cobbler, and then a nice black. So you just want to go up and down your flat tip paintbrush and you'll eventually begin to see the pleats in your stage curtains. So we're looking good. We want to make sure that we do the same thing to our other curtain. We're going in and out of our paint palette so that our curtains can have some dimension. And you know, if you only have one shade of red, no big deal. You can actually mix it with a little bit of black or perhaps even a little bit of white to give you three different shades for your curtains because we definitely want them to have dimension so that we can see our pleats and begin to sense the movement. And so what we're going to do now is begin to go in and do some of our touch-ups. And if you kind of step back from your painting, you almost get the sense that the curtains are starting to open up and the singer is getting ready to take stage, which will be our next step. Okay, so for this step, we're going to begin drawing our singer. We're going to start from the bottom. We're going to draw her dress. She's going to have a really nice flowy dress. And so we're going to move from the bottom up and we're going to begin to go out to form the um, hip line. And then we're going to move up to the upper torso where we're going to do the straps, um, her arms, as well as her neck and her hair. So you can follow along. Feel free to pause, rewind, go back. Or if you like, you can go to my website at she dash creates. Dot com and I'll post a template for you. So I'm going to use these two lines that I'm going to make on both sides of her dress as sort of like a guide because I want her dress to be really, really flowy, um, sort of like a chiffon look to it. And now I'm going to draw the bottom of the stage and we're going to add a nice microphone stand. So I'm going to add a little bit of pink to my detail brush, my small detail brush. And the brush actually isn't completely dry. And what that does is it gives us some different variations with only using one shade of pink for right now. And it gives us a nice color wash effect.
And so we just want to continue with our nice, short, quick brush strokes. And you can almost begin to sense the spotlight radiating, bouncing off of her dress, giving us those nice different variations in our shade of pink. I'm now going to go in and add a darker shade of pink. This is actually a little bit of fuchsia. And you can really design your dress however you like. You might decide to go with polka dots or something else or maybe a different color altogether. So now we're going to use our detail brush and we're going to begin to paint our singer. And while we're doing this, we're actually letting the dress dry and we'll come back and we'll add some more detail. I'm actually using a very dark brown mixed in with a little bit of black. Of course, you can go with any color of your choice. So now we're going to take our flat tip paintbrush and a nice shade of dark brown and we're going to begin to paint the hair of our singer and we're using the lines, the waves that we made in her afro to outline it as a guide but we're not too worried about staying directly in the lines. We want to make sure that her afro has some puff to it. We're looking good so now we're going to begin to fill in her hair and we're going to go in and out of our paint palette to make sure we have some nice dimension in her fro. So once it's all filled in without putting any water on our paintbrush we're going to add some black and we're going to begin to go back over her fro and this will give some depth and we'll be able to see some of the different layers of her hair as we go in and out of our palette. So we want to begin to add a little bit of um, dimension to our hair. So we're just gonna kinda go in like a swooping motion and we're doing that with the paint that's still wet to bring in some texture. And then we're gonna gradually begin to add some white in and that white is going to mix in to give us some different shades, some different levels of the brown and of the black. And then we're just going to continue to go in and out of our paint palette and you'll almost begin to feel the light hit her hair and we'll begin to see different highlights come through. So your paint is still wet and you're just going in and out of your paint palette, sort of like in little swirls. All right, so her fro is popping. So now we're going to paint our um, microphone and we're just gonna use our detailed brush for that step. So we're going to add a little bit of white to our paintbrush and our microphone will start to have a nice blend between the gray and the black and we're going to go on and fill that in. While we're letting our microphone dry, we are going to add some fuchsia to her dress. Um, again, you can go with any color of your choice. And I'm going to give her a nice little waistband. And what we're going for, if you're following along with me, is a nice chiffon overlay. And so we're going to go in and out of our paint palette. We're going to be using the fuchsia with our pink, a little bit of white, and a little bit of purple. Of course, you can go with a different pattern or style to your dress. Maybe you'll want to use the tip of your paintbrush and add some polka dots. Whatever you like, it's to your liking.
So now we're going to add some details to our microphone. We're again using our detailed brush. We're just going to do a line going up and down and then some curved lines coming out from that line. Every great singer has an audience, so we're going to take our small detailed brush and we're going to go in and out of our paint palette. Basically, we're doing our different skin tones by using a combination of burnt sienna mixed with white, um, mahogany brown, and black, and that's going to give us some variation in our crowd. You'll want different size ovals. They don't have to be perfect. You want to make sure that you have your smaller ovals towards the back of the crowd. You want to make sure that you have a nice amount of ovals which will represent the faces in the crowd. You do want space in between them because you want to be able to come back and add a couple of details like the clothing and the hair. And so you'll just go in and out of your paint palette with different colors of your choice and basically we're just extending rectangles not necessarily very defined shapes but just rectangular shapes circles ovals um, extensions of their bodies that will represent their clothing and then we'll go in and we'll add some hair and just sort of spread the different colors throughout your palette Okay, we're going to continue to go in and out of our paint palette with various colors to fill in our audience and after we get our different ovals representing the faces, we're going to go in and out of different shades of gray and a little bit of black just to add some more um, detail and to um, fill in some of those gaps, some of those white spaces in our canvas. We're going to add a little bit of gold to our detail brush and we're going to add the ropes to our curtain. And we're going to do that on both sides. There we have it, the singer. Make sure you sign your name. And as always, it's been a pleasure painting with you today. I'll see you next Saturday on She Creates. If you enjoyed the video, give me a thumbs up and remember to subscribe.